Hi guys, let's take a look at antonima. For those that can't remember, antonima are words that mean the opposite. So, unlike synonyms, they cannot be used interchangeably, meaning they will change the meaning of your sentence if you want to use the opposite word. So, if we look at eerlijk, when you are eerlijk, you are honest. So, opposite of honest would be dishonest. In Afrikaans, we call it oneerlijk. When you are friendlijk, you are friendly. And the opposite of friendly is unfriendly. So, that would be easy in Afrikaans because just like you're just adding a prefix, in Afrikaans, we also just add a prefix to friendelijk, which is onvriendelijk. Opgewonde. It's when you're excited. So when you're not excited, you are possibly anything else but happy. So it could be hatsier or you could say bedroef. If you are cold, you are cold. So if you're not cold, you're warm. And that's very easy because you literally just write warm. And the pronunciation is just Warm. Lich. Now it depends. It could either be the actual light in the sky in your house via electricity. So that type of lich would be donker. The opposite of lich as in light outside or in your house would be donker. But when it comes to the weight of something, when something is not very heavy, it's lich. So it's a fear. So the opposite of lich would be swar. So it just depends on the context. If you're not swak, you are not weak. So you are strong. So in Afrikaans, we say stark. If something is not a little, it is a lot. So if it's not min, it is baie. And then the last one, seer. If you are not seer, if you're not so, then you're healthy, right? So gesond. And that is it, guys. I will see you in the next one.